I'm Lindsay Schlichting. I'm an inpatient diabetes nurse educator. When you're talking about glucagon as an emergency treatment for hypoglycemia, who would be a good person to have a prescription for that? Well, you want to think about your patients who are using intensive insulin therapy. So patients who are, who are using both long-acting basal insulin, but also rapid-acting uh, fast insulin uh, to cover their meals. That could be people who are using injections or pumps. Um, patients that have a history of severe lows could also benefit from having a prescription. Uh, these are people that have gone so low that they required help from another person to uh, raise blood sugar levels. And then lastly, patients who are living with hypoglycemia unawareness, meaning that they no longer recognize the early signs and symptoms or they're just not there. And, and so those would be another group to have a glucagon prescription. Hi, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Tiger. I'm a diabetes nurse educator here at Denver Health. Uh, what can I do for you today? My doctor had prescribed me this medication um, since I've gotten lots of lows on my insulin. Oh, okay. I see that you've been prescribed a glucagon kit. Let me explain what that medication is. So sometimes when people take insulin, they are at risk for low blood sugars. We know that insulin is a hormone that normally lowers blood sugars, but if it lowers them too much, uh, people can become confused or, or lose consciousness. And so glucagon is actually a different hormone that helps to raise blood sugars in an emergency situation. So this medication is something you would inject if you ever had a blood sugar that was so low, you couldn't help yourself to raise the blood sugar. Do you think you could show me how to give this to my partner? Absolutely. There are multiple glucagon emergency kits available on the market, but they all contain the same items. There will be a bottle of the medication itself, which, is, which comes in a powder form that needs to be mixed prior to giving. And then there is also a syringe that is already full of sterile water, which is going to be what we use to mix the medication. So in an emergent situation, what you would want to do is take the bottle out, remove the plastic cap, take the syringe full of liquid, remove the cap, squirt all of the liquid inside of the bottle, then flip it over, swirl it around so the medication dissolves completely, and then draw all the medication out. The person who's having this severe low blood sugar, you would want to turn on their side first because glucagon can cause nausea and vomiting. It can be given in either the muscle or the fatty tissue, so some ideal spots to inject the medicine would include your thigh, your arm, or your belly. For adults, go ahead and give the entire amount of medication. You can't overdose on this medicine, but what it will do is temporarily raise your blood sugar by basically emptying out all of the stored sugar from the liver and putting it into circulation. Giraffe! Giraffe, are you okay? What's wrong? What's wrong? Oh, that's my partner. Giraffe has diabetes and takes insulin. He might be having a severe low blood sugar. I need to check his blood sugar. Oh no, his blood sugar's low and he's not responding to me. I need to give him glucagon, which is an emergency medication for severe low blood sugar. Can you call 911? I'm on my way. Okay, I remember what the nurse told me. First, take off the cap. Take the cap off the medicine and put all of the liquid in the syringe inside the bottle, swirl it around till it's totally dissolved, and then remove all the liquid into the syringe. Okay, I know this might make giraffe sick, so I'm gonna go ahead and roll giraffe on the side and I'm gonna give it in the thigh. I'm gonna give the whole amount, because he's an adult, and hopefully it'll start working in the next five to 15 minutes. Giraffe, how are you feeling now? Oh, oh, I'm not feeling too good, but I, I don't, what just happened? You had a severe low blood sugar and you weren't responding, so I had to give you glucagon to bring your blood sugar up. What happened? Oh, yeah, I took my fast-acting insulin and I was going to eat, but I needed to run some errands and I forgot. Oh, man, well, let's go ahead and check your blood sugar right now and see how it's doing. Okay, your blood sugar is doing a little bit better now, but I know that glucagon is only temporary. Do you feel like your stomach is up for eating and drinking something? Oh, I'm feeling kind of queasy.
easy that I could try some juice. Yeah, let me bring you some juice, and if you think you could do it, maybe we'll do some peanut butter crackers or like a half a sandwich, because we want to make sure that you have enough uh, sugar in your system to prevent another low blood sugar until the ambulance arrives. Thanks, elephant.